what is going on guys welcome back to another tutorial now what i wanted to do today was i wanted to show you how easy it was relatively easy it can be to add a player's picture to a face pack now this is obviously going to be df11 because that's one i've downloaded but you can do the cutouts and stuff uh, there are tutorials showing you how to cut faces out and stuff so you can watch one of those and then just take those principles into moving it into you know the game so you can have a look at cutout see how you cut the player's face out and stuff and then look at this one just to see how to put it in so first thing i want to do is i want to go into file open and then we want to go into our documents folder and we want to open up our df11 face pack now i don't think there's a blank one in here I can't see it. it. I've tried trawling through and I couldn't see it. So I'm going to just assume that there isn't. Okay. So I'm just going to pick a random picture. This guy here will do. Okay. He's looking very pleased with himself, I guess. And then I'm just going to zoom in and select this tool here. If you hold down, you get the magic wand uh, or you want the selection tool. We're going to go with the quick selection tool. We are literally just going to select all that is inside here like that. Just make sure we've got him all. Okay, that's fine. Now, I'm not going to remove him just yet. I want to go over to the internet. And I've searched for James Jones of crew because he wasn't in the face pack to start off with. So I found a picture of him. It's actually his squad photo from last year. So I'm just going to save the image to the desktop it's all fine and dandy just wait for it to download then i'm just going to hold left click drag it down and bring it into photoshop and now you can see it's a little bit smaller and we just need to big it up a little bit and what i'm going to do is just while i reposition i'm going to bring the opacity down so i can just reposition it Control and t to bring up this option again and I'm just going to drop him there like that okay and then put the opacity back up now I'm going to drop this layer underneath the original layer okay and I've just realized I'm going to have to select this again never mind it's not the end of the world doesn't take oh wrong one doesn't take two minutes to redo so just holding down left click basically and just going around the parameters of it if you want to you can hold alt in to try and take these corners and round them off a little bit but it doesn't really matter you don't really notice it anyway but i am just going to hit delete to remove him and then while that is still selected we're just going to click on james jones okay and we're going to right click here uh, oh no first we need to change it so we just need to make it so that you can edit this by deleting things and stuff so what i tend to do is just quickly hit the eraser button click here okay and then that does it that sorts it out so now we can right click on him layer via cut so that has cut him out and then we can just remove the background image and there that's it job done james jones now what i do as well just to add to it is i'm just going to put in a shadow on it just to sort of add a little bit something to it maybe just make it 60 uh, distance maybe not quite so much on it okay so it's not difficult it's really not difficult to do it's something that's relatively simple uh, like there may be even simpler ways to do it that's the way i do it i've just got quick at doing it that way so that's how i do it so next up we just need to get him into the game and to do that we need to find out his player id so to do that it's pretty simple you can see i've come into james jones and as i thought he doesn't have a picture in the pack which is brilliant so what we need to do is we need to get his id so we need to go into preferences and we need to go to interface and we need to tick this box here that says show ids in title bar hit confirm it'll take a second to load because it will reload all the pictures and skins and stuff 
uh, but it shouldn't take too long. Oh, there you go. It didn't take too long. So his number, I'm just going to make a note of this, is 29111385. So that's his ID number there, 29111385. So what I want to do now is, is file, save as, don't just save because you'll save every other picture otherwise. Uh, and we want to select the PNG file type and then we want to highlight the number because we obviously want to change that. And that's where we put 29111385 in. So hit enter and that will save that into the mega pack. Once we've got that number, we need to go into Documents, Sports Interactive, Football Manager 2018 Graphics, Faces, DFLF and Face Pack, and then scroll right down to the bottom and just sing, just one single click on the config file to highlight it, then right click it, open with Notepad, and that'll open it up. And as you can see, there's a hell of a lot in here. So we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. I'm just going to highlight this one, okay, and then hit Control C to copy it. Come to the end, hit Enter, tab across twice, and Control V to paste it in. So we've just copy and pasted it. Then we're going to highlight this number and replace it with the number of the player we want to put in. One, three, eight, five, and then we'll just copy that. and just highlight that and paste it over there and then we just need to go to file and save and that will save it all in there so we can close those down what we need to do now though is file preferences again it's very rinse and repeat this um interface clear the cache yes and then go back in again preferences interface reload skin and that will reload all pictures skins all graphics basically for the game and once it reloads there you have it james jones picture is now in the game easy as peas and you just go into your preferences switch off your id numbers if you want to or you can leave them on it's entirely up to you but anyway guys i hope that's helped you out a little bit um a bit of a simple tutorial really but just to show you how it's done you can do that with any pictures as long as you get the size right of the picture if you're not sure about the size just have a look at one of the other pictures that's in there and just try and resize it can be done in gimp as well if you don't have photoshop i'm sure you can do it in gimp as well pretty easily just resize the pictures if you use gimp you know how to use it you know so you can cut things out all this tutorial will show you how to do so so hopefully that helps you like i say guys um please remember to leave a like drop a subscription if you want to and i'll see you all in the next video Bye bye